Okay, today we're going to look at an example <coughs> posting from the Salary Journal to the General Ledger. <coughs> Putting it all together, we now see that the following in the General Ledger. Expenses, the salaries, the pension fund contributions and the URF contributions and any other contributions are the expenses. The liabilities, we owe money to the pension fund, both from the deduction and the contribution. We owe money to the UIF, both from the deduction and the contribution. The medical aid, <coughs> so stage of it. And then creditors for salaries is the net salary. So if we add up all the deductions, it gives us the same amount that we have debited in the salary account. And if we take the contributions and we add them up, it shows them that our debits and our credits are equal. So the total expenses for debits is 16,503 and that is now the 16,200 in the salaries plus the 243 in the pension fund and the 60 grand in the UIF contribution. And the total liabilities credits is also 16,503. It's the 729 in the pension fund, the 120 in the UIF, the 450 in the medical aid, the 5,244 in SARS pay as you earn, and the 9,960 in the creditors for salary account. <coughs> What effect will these transactions have on the accounting equation? So, salary is an expense, so only equity will decrease. Pension fund is a liability, so the pension uh, liability will increase as well as UIF and the medical aid, the SARS, and the credit for salaries. So, our equity will decrease with 16,200 and our liabilities added up all those together will also increase with 16,200. <coughs> then uh, with the pension fund contribution, our, it's an expense, our honest equity decrease, it increases our liability, what we owe to the pension fund, and the same applies with the UIF. UIF contribution is an expense, our honest equity decreases and our liability increases. So if we now look at the salaries journal of long traders, and it's now posted to the general ledger, we start off with a balance sheet section, and that is our liabilities. We owe the pension fund. First of all, it's the deduction. Our contract account here is salaries, because that is our expense. We will debit the salary account with the gross salary. We will also credit it with a contribution and our contra account is pension fund contribution because that is the account that we are going to debit. So in total, that is then what we owe the pension fund. Next is UIF. First, we will credit the UIF account with the deduction. Contra account is salaries because our debit is the salary account. And then also the contribution, so UIF contribution. It's the contract account there. <clears throat> Medical aid will only have one entry because there's only a deduction. So it's a credit entry. SARS phase you earn will be credited also only with a deduction. Therefore, it's the contract account is salaries. And lastly, the credit is for salaries. That's the, sal the net salary that we now owe to the employee. Again, my contra account is salaries because I'm going to debit the salary account with the gross salaries. So in the nominal account section, we are going to debit our salary account with gross salaries. It's 16,200. That's now the debit entry for all the credits that we have just done. And then we will 
debit the pension fund contribution account, please note the contribution part needs to be added to the name as well as in contribution. So whenever we post from a journal to a general ledger, the debit and the credit entry should always be equal to another. In this case, all the debits are expenses while all the credits are liabilities. Our debits is the 16,000 Rand for gross salaries plus the contribution for the pension fund and the contribution for the UIF, while the credits, again, is the, the pension fund with both the deduction and the contribution, the URF with both the deduction and the uh, contribution, and then the medical aid, SARS, patient, and 